Hey guys, my name is Save, and welcome back to another episode of episode of talking about the five stages of grief. <clears throat> so the last two times we've talked about denial, anger, and bargaining. But after bargaining for a while, what happens if all that you get out of it is the realization that there's nothing you can do? Now, some people may skip this stage that you're watching the video over and just accept it. But for the most part, individuals have a tendency to get very down and depressed about that. Understandably so. If you've lost something or someone that was very, very, very dear to you, and you come to the realization that there's nothing you can do to get it back, you go into this depressive state of mind where you feel like you're just lost. You feel like... It, it basically generally how depression normally works. I'm not the best person to talk about that since I have had it in the past, depression, but it was like... It's not like clinical depression or anything like that where... It's something that happens frequent enough for me to actually describe the exact feeling of it. Um, but I can say at least this much. The thought process does stick for a while. And <clears throat> when you do end up in that state of mind, it's normally be you normally cling to whatever's causing it. You need water. You guys could probably hear the coughing in the background. Yeah, Pink Fox is still, still sick after like a while now. Have... Drink water. Why? <laughs> <sighs> anyway, it, I she goes. It's just mucus. My brain's like my statement stands. I digress. Um. Depression can be something that, in this particular, see, it already sounds better, just because of that. That's because I drink, when I drink four things that happen. Well, guess where I keep this. <sighs> Depression is one of those things where it's like, it, it, it only happens to those who, it, who, are, who have a very, very hard time getting through circumstances, but I've already bypassed other things. For example, I have very bad depression. <clears throat> and sometimes when people say things that... Keep in mind, this is about the five stages of grief, so it has to be surrounding that. Depression can also take a person a while to get over. Like, for example, when I moved out of my mom's house, I was, I was depressed so much that I was, wouldn't even move from my ex-boyfriend's couch for like a month, and me and him, well, she kind of, it was a very complicated situation. Hmm. And Best left to that. <laughs> and, um, I was depressed about on the couch for about a month and would not move from there. Did not want to do anything, just wanted to just sit there and chill and watch Family Guy or American Dad. And then he'd get mad at me and be like, why are you watching something stupid? I'm like, because it's funny. Stupid is funny. What do you expect? Yeah, I'm marrying this one. So, of course, stupid has to be funny. Love you. Love you, too. But... <clears throat> <clears throat> she actually does make very good points. I mean, coming from someone who has clinical depression, I couldn't expect any less. Someone who actually knows about this stuff. But yeah, and my depression's been getting a lot better since meeting this dork. So find you an amazing dork if you have depression to make you always laugh and to make you enjoy life. I guess in the case of like loss, <clears throat> the five stages of grief and the loss that's involved in those, when it comes to depression... Like she made a, Amber made a couple of fair points, like the idea that you'd, you'd be co cooped up. This is where a lot of shut-ins come from. 
when you get when you go through too much loss, people become shut-ins or introverts for long periods of time. My mom's got <clears> a whole <throat> point at looking at David like she's not losing her daughter; she's getting a son. Hmm. And some people Todd's getting there. Some people take <laughs> a long or amount of time to get to that point. Um, but that's kind of pushing away from the topic. Uh, people who are like shut-ins, people who go through this depressive state, really depends on the person. Like what she pointed out, um, it's it's due to the it's due to how bad your depression can get on for you specifically. How long it would last before the next stage is actually reached. Um, it's it's a heavy topic to talk about, and a lot of it would go into details outside of this stage, so I'm going to leave this here. Looks like Pink Fox wants some hugs and cuddles anyway, so... <laughs> I'm no, gonna... I'm just squeezing you for no reason. I mean, you've done it before. Anyway, going to leave this here. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh. Want to check out the rest of the series of the Five Stages of Grief? Click the link on the side of my head here. Not quite floating your boat. Click link on the other side where it's Sorry, I was just like, like literally right over Amber's uh, forehead face now. Anyways, forehead. Eh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope to catch you guys in another video. Bye bye. bye.